Have you ever played a text adventure? Text adventures are a kind of wonderful genre of game that doesn't really exist anymore. I thought it would be cool to make a text adventure that you'd play via text, so on your phone. And I don't want it to be annoying like old text adventures. You can basically press a button, one, two, three, to make a choice, I think, to decide where you're gonna go versus typing in anything. Though we could totally do that version as well. I would like a less infuriating text adventure that will still be slightly infuriating <laughs> uh, because I wanna base it on Tomb of Horrors. If you've never heard of Tomb of Horrors, it's one of the first Dungeons & Dragons modules. It's in Tales from the Yawning Portal, and it's written by Gary Gygax. I think it came out in 1970s, and it's basically a dungeon full of death traps. And it's super challenging and infuriating for players, but I think it'll be perfect as a text adventure with limited choices because it has so many instant deaths, and so that'll be kind of a fun hook. So that's the plan. So the first thing we need to do is adapt this to a text adventure. So I'm gonna do that visually if I can. And then I'm gonna play around with Twilio Studio, which is a visual tool that lets you build apps with Twilio. I think they call them flows. So we're gonna play around with building a Twilio flow. So that's the plan. I'm excited to get into it and make a text adventure that you play via text. So I'm gonna use this tool, Autodesk Sketchbook, which I love using. It's a great tool in order to map out kind of the flow of the game. Now, each of these numbered branching circles is going to be a room with a trap or a treasure in it. I haven't gotten to the details yet of what these traps are, so now I'm gonna blow out kind of what these rooms are and what the text should be. And from that, I think I'm gonna to move to a Google Doc to kind of build out this concept. I'm gonna take a look at the actual tomb text and then we'll see like kind of what, what to do here. And now you can see how slowly I write, but I'm trying to write the script for each branching room and selection. I think, I think for the second tomb, if you just go inside to investigate, then the door slides behind you. Super simple, you're trapped inside and you're dead. That's not exactly what happens here. There's some opportunities to use thieves tools and stuff in the game of Dungeons and Dragons, but this is gonna be played via text. So just instant death is way easier. So I have two options here to kill someone. I could use a poison needle or I could have the covered pit open and you could die from uh, spikes. I feel like dying from um, spikes is more interesting. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the deep covered pit kind of death trap for this one. So here's the finished thing. There's three entrances, one, two, three. These are both death traps. Then when you go to three, this is going to be a hallway with a death trap here. It's a demon mouth. This is going to be just a dead end. This is going to be a death trap with an option to just keep going. You can just skip it. And then there's going to be a gargoyle here, which you can fight or not fight. And then a final treasure room. And if you get the treasure and you aren't greedy, then you escape. So this is kind of the, the flow here. And then if you die, you can immediately play again. So just want to take a break for a minute, but the next step is to get into Twilio Studio and then to see if we can take the model that we've created as a children's adventure and put it into action. This is Dumpling, by the way. She says hi. Twilio Studio is a rad developer tool that lets you build text and voice apps visually. Now, it isn't for people who've never coded before, but even if you haven't, because it's very visual, I think you'll be able to follow what I'm doing yourself, copy what I've done, and do your own thing if you're into it. I'm gonna call this project Tomb of Horrors, and I'm gonna start from scratch. So the trigger here is the start of the app, and so someone will send a text to our number, and then the app will happen. So anything that we connect to the trigger is what will happen first after someone texts our number. So I'll copy and paste what I've written from my Google Doc into the Twilio. Oh wait, that's right. I'm not just sending a message. I'm sending a message and then waiting for input from the user. So I'll need to use the send and wait for reply widget. After that, we add a split and splits are like branching paths. So we get to decide what happens when someone texts a reply. So they'll text back and that text will determine what happens next. So if the text we receive is a one, we wanna to go to room one. If it's a two, we'll go straight. And if it's three, we'll go to the tomb entrance on the right. So now I just need to build out everything to look like what I have in my Google Doc. 
This is me just straight up building the thing via montage. So I think this is enough to do a test. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's see if this is enough here. Just to see that I get like, cause I should be able to go to one, two and three. So let's see if we can do that. So now I'm gonna assign the flow that I just built so that it triggers if you text the number. Great, I don't see anything. Okay, um, what did I do wrong? So I did something wrong and I'm looking through the error logs. The text was definitely received, but nothing happened. I'm not entirely sure what I did wrong yet, but I'm gonna build the rest of this out and then figure it out. This is another montage build, but it's a little bit more confusing because I don't actually know if what I'm making is going to work. Classic developer build in process. Because if you don't know what you're doing, build it harder. So nothing is happening. Okay, so this is the problem. Back here, I misassigned a variable. And then I forgot to hit publish. So while my work was saved, it didn't propagate to the finished app. I noticed both those problems now. It totally just worked. I just think I didn't publish, I didn't press publish somehow. Uh, okay, out of tomb, so let's go left. As you can see, I can barely contain my excitement. Uh, open door. So those work. So now we can get kind of further into it. Sweet. This is what further into it looks like. This is completely finishing the app. All right, so now we just gotta go through and test all of the outcomes here. Now I'm going to run through every possible outcome and see if everything works. So I just went through it and there was a like an error in uh, one of the message bodies. So it's really easy to mess up the splits, the split pieces, just a detail oriented thing that you can screw up very easily. That's it. I think the thing now to do is send this to a few friends and see what they think, like if this is fun or even interesting. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that and then uh, get back to you. So I sent out the text adventure to a few friends and the feedback was super positive. So positive in fact that I thought, well, why don't I tweet it? And the feedback was positive there too. So it seemed like in general, people enjoyed this style of adventure. And one of the co-founders of Twilio even favorited it, which made me feel amazing. So one important thing to mention is that Twilio is not free. So to use their API, it's 0 0.0075 cents to send and receive messages. So here's my account. I had $20 in my account when I started. I've spent $8.40 so far. It's a dollar to set up the phone number. From there, there's 988 segments that have been sent or received. So a segment is 160 characters long. So if, if you have more than 160 characters, it combines them. So some of my messages are quite long. So I could shorten each of the messages coming from the app to 160 characters or less, and that would make these a little bit cheaper. So if I figure I've spent $8.40 so far and there's been 79 engagements, I mean, it's less than 10 cents per person to check this out, which is awesome. I did make one very big change. You do need to text TOMB to this number, T-O-M-B, in order to start the text adventure. There was some confusion around how to get things going. You could text anything. Asking someone to text anything is weird, so texting tomb is a better way to start this particular adventure. If you text it and it doesn't work, I have either run out of money or changed the account, but I'm planning to keep it up for a little while at least till I run out of that $20 initial investment. I love projects like this. It's super fun when you can take an idea in your head and then make it work in whatever way possible. People had some wonderful ideas about stuff I could do next. So for example, adding like a death animation like Dragon's Lair and adding alternate adventures. So Instead of just texting tomb, you could text dungeon and just explore all kinds of different possibilities. My name is Michael. I make videos every week about stuff that I'm into. So if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.